Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you watch this reading for Pisces placements. Daily energy and advice for Pisces placements. If you're cross-watching, dealing with the Pisces, this could also resonate. As always, use your own discernment. Put the masters where they go in your own situation. You know what you got going on. Don't force anything to fit to wands, crossroads, decisions, options. And thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, subscribing, your donations. Everything helps. Your views, everything helps. Okay, thank you to my members. If you'd like to become a member, click the join button. You'll see your options. Hope you're enjoying your perks. Oh boy, what the hell, Pisces. Look what came out. We have the Five of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Wow. So there's some conflict, some chaos, some strife. One, something changed or something didn't go according to plan. Other people are involved. Other people messed it up. Other people interfered. Um, even if it's just them getting inside your head. Um, and you're mourning something. You're disappointed. Or you've lost out on something because of it. Okay, we'll see if it comes back out in the main spread. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. This is asking you to look up, keep your options open, look for other possibilities. There's more than one avenue to take towards your goal, and you do have reasons to celebrate. If you do have some bad apples that are showing their faces and showing up in your life and revealing themselves, this is telling you you've got good people around you too with the Three of Cups. You've got supportive people, um, but you have to be willing to see the big picture, right? To take a step back, see the whole thing, with what's going on. Don't get lost in what's gone wrong because there's so much that, that is going right for you, okay? Oh, Pisces. All right, one sec. Yes, Charlie. Okay, Charlie has graced us with his presence. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. For Pisces placements at the time they were watching this reading for their highest good what they need to know if you're waiting on a personal reading i'm working through those today and tomorrow so stay tuned okay check your inbox all right pisces daily energy and vice pisces placements there we go overall energy of the day main events when it comes to work finances, studies, your business, your personal projects, if you don't work, your home, your friends, your family with this, your social circles, your love life, whether you're single, coupled up, in between, interested, not interested. And as always, remember, these energies could be interchangeable, okay? All right, bottom of the deck, we have justice, karma, fate, decision, legality, finality, contracts, what's fair, what's right. Okay, overall energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles, nice and easy, slow and steady wins the race, see something through, stay the course, something moving slowly but surely. The Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Devil that I'm going to have to cover up. Capricorn energy. So there is a, an aspect here of temptation. Temptation to veer off a course, temptation to walk away from something, temptation to cut corners, temptation to change something up, go off course, go off track, do something differently than what was agreed, differently than what you discussed, differently than what you decided previously. And with justice, this is telling you in the Knight of Pentacles, you have a good idea, you have a good plan do things the right way okay with the hermit use your wisdom make smart choices healthy choices okay so let's see when it comes to your work your finances your studies your own business oh nice we have the sun success recognition spotlight triumph page of cups feedback positive feedback offers invitations and the seven of swords hmm Seven of Swords can be an energy of strategy, an exit plan, but it can also be an aspect of self-sabotage with the devil energy. Either feeling like you don't deserve the praise you're receiving, 
the offers, the opportunities, the compliments, um, the feedback, okay? But this could also be, be mindful of offers extended to you or people trying to, someone could be trying to buy your loyalty, someone could be trying to, um, it's almost like not give you what you deserve. It's like, it's like the manager coming to you and saying, oh my God, we've got excellent feedback for you, awesome work great fantastic they can't praise you enough but they're not going to give you the bonus or they're not actually going to reflect that in your pay it's like they're just showing you you know praise recognition compliments but when it comes down to what it is you deserve in terms of growth financial career-wise you know climbing the ladder they're they it's almost like they're trying to get away with not doing that it's like yes you're doing amazing and they're almost like hoping that that's enough and you'll feel all pumped up and warm and fuzzy inside to where you go, oh, thank you, I feel so, you know, whatever, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, I'll keep busting my behind for you. Um, but you won't ask for a raise, you won't ask for a bonus, you won't ask for the promotion. Or this is someone who, you know, um, you're trying to talk to them about your growth, your expansion, climbing the ladder, getting more money, getting more hours. Um, and instead of them trying to make that work for you, right? Or you might've told them you wanna leave. You might've told them you're looking for other jobs. You might've told them you need something more because otherwise you're gonna have to be looking for something else. And instead of them actually doing something concrete to help you, to, to work with you, to bring you the growth you want and deserve and are asking for, it's almost like they're trying to praise you and it's that kind of situation where, oh, you're so important, Pisces, and it's all about you, and you're the glue that keeps everything going, and what would we do without you? It's almost like in a way for you to feel a little bit important, but also a little bit responsible, so that you can't, you feel like you can't leave, right? Because like, oh my God, everyone's depending on me, everyone's relying on me now. Pisces, listen, are they paying you fairly? Nice words are nice words and praise and recognition are beautiful, but are they paying you fairly? It's almost like someone's trying to deflect and distract from the fact that they should be paying you more, that they should be giving you more, that they should be offering you more hours, more opportunities, helping you climb that ladder, getting you enrolled, enrolled and registered in all the classes and courses and training that you've asked for, requested, applied for, right? And it's almost like they're trying to distract from the fact that they're actually not doing any of that but they're showering you with affection and praise and recognition to the point where you feel like, well, everything's on me. Like if I, I can't leave my team, I can't leave my manager because you know, it's on me, right? But that's, that's not your, it's not your company, Pisces. It's just a job. And are they paying you fairly for it, by the way? You know what I mean? It's, you have to stay focused. That's just this. And the hermit, stay focused on the plan, the detail, okay? the facts, all right? Because I feel like someone might be trying to make you feel important, but they're not compensating you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Be mindful of dodgy offers as well. Um, if something seems like it's too good to be true, probably is. But also, you might be getting an offer that's great. It's big, it's great. Um, it seems amazing. It is amazing. But again, there'll be an aspect where they're hoping you don't ask some questions or they're hoping you'll accept their first offer because they're, you know, show, it's like it comes with so much emotional words, words and emotions, right? The offer in itself it might be good, but they can do a lot better. But they're hoping if they're giving you this minimal offer in this beautiful, excited, emotional look how important you are Pisces type of package that you feel all warm and fuzzy and important and go, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take that. As opposed to, yeah, thank you, I appreciate that, that's very kind of you, but what are the terms and conditions again? So what's the salary and what are the hours and what are the perks and you know what does this do and what, the, what is that expectation, what is that expectation? So you might have to do some negotiation, ask some questions. It's not necessarily pushing back, but it's just saying, it's kind of seeing through the gloss of something and going, okay, what's behind that? Thank you, I appreciate it, that's very kind of you. However, 
What are the terms, conditions, expectations? What am I going to get? What are, you see what I mean? Okay, when it comes to your home, your friends, your family, we have the chariot, cancer energy, we have the page of wands, and we have the ten of wands. So there's a move happening, movement or communication, messages to do with the move. This is you or someone you're helping, okay? Um, for some of you, this is again someone who be coming to you asking for your help. They're not going to pay you for it. They're hoping that them showing you so much praise and affection and saying, oh my God, Pisces, I don't know what I would do without you is enough for you to spend your whole day and breaking your back. And you know what I mean? And if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. But the message here with, with justice is remember that this is your choice. And people will treat you the way you allow them to treat you. And that's just the truth. Okay? I'm just going to keep it real with you, Pisces. You know that's what we do on this channel. If that's the decision you choose to make, then that's your decision. And that's fine. But be aware that you do have a choice. Right? You don't have to do anything. Just saying. Okay? Um, for others of you, there's a trip happening here. Um, travel getting a car, changing your car, looking at your car. There's something to do with weight, changing tires. Um, trucks, vans could be significant at this point in time, whether you're renting them or using them to move furniture around or whatever this is, right? There's also an aspect of be mindful of what you're committing to and what you're agreeing to. You might find yourself in a situation where you bit off more than you can chew. Um, this is also whatever you're working on. Again, there's a there's a temptation here towards a distraction. What you're what you're doing, what you've got going on, is you're doing enough. Okay, you've reached a balance. The temptation is taking on something new. And that's going to be too much. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Don't overcommit yourself. And if you have a minute to breathe, that doesn't mean you have to fill it with something else. Take a minute to breathe. That's also important, okay? So when it comes to your love life, we have the world, the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and the four of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, be mindful. Someone could be trying to, for some of you, someone's trying to impress you. Okay, someone's trying to impress you. They're buying you gifts. Um, but there's an aspect of control here. It's almost like they're trying to buy you, you know? So you're just going to have to be very careful about that. Um, or they're trying to buy your affection, buy your loyalty, buy your forgiveness. Um, To start with something with you or to start something over with you for some of you for others this could be someone at work it could, be, it could be a boss okay showering you with affection asking you out flirting with you and you're not quite sure how you feel about that okay um, for others of you the attraction is mutual in which case go for it you're gonna have to be careful how you do it because I feel like you might have some policies in place when it comes to that sort of thing um, but by all means, for others of you, be mindful you might be talking to someone who's already married or already committed. You may not know this at the time. Um, but it's, I feel like this is the type of person that every time you try to make plans with them, they deflect, they change the subject, they say they're busy, they close off. That's how you'll know, you know, something's dodgy, something's fishy. For those of you, I feel like you're working with someone who it, everything's on their terms. Everything is how they want it. Uh, you're trying to build something with this person, but some things are being revealed and you're, you're going to have a decision to make because I feel like you're trying to build, but it might be one-sided, okay? Or for those of you, it's one-sided in the sense that this is, it's their terms. It's what they want when they want it. When they have time for you, it's great. But then you can't make plans with them because you don't know when they're going to have time for you next. So there's a constant state of waiting and not being sure. And you can't really make plans. Non-committal energy, okay? For those of you, you might meet someone while you're at the gym 
or doing anything to do with the body. Weight, uh, lifting weights. Hi, B. Come on, hi. Sorry. <laughs> Harvey has also graced us with his presence. Do you want to come up? Okay. Um, there's also this, um, a new person. They're very fiery, they're very attractive, very confident. There's a foreign aspect to them. Um, and I just feel like they're just gonna come and try to sweep you off, off, their, off, sorry, off your feet. There's a lot of chemistry there. There's a lot of attraction there. But with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit, the message is, there's nothing wrong with that, but just make sure you slow it down. It doesn't turn into a burn bright and fast type of situation. If you want it to last, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, slow it down, make sure there's a foundation there. And it's not just about the attraction, it's not just about the chemistry, and it's not just about, if that's what you're looking for and what you want, by all means, go nuts, have fun. Nothing wrong with that. It's just reminding you, what, what is it that you really want? What kind of relationship do you want? Okay, because it's how you set it up that is, it becomes what it's gonna be, right? Um, if you build a friendship, if you build some trust, some respect, and some, whatever's that's how it's going to go and then you add the chemistry and then you add the attraction on top of that right um or if you just if you're just in the moment and you're just in the moment and you don't have expectations for the future or you don't really think that far ahead that's also okay but it's important to sit and think from the get-go what kind of relationship you want that to be because that will save you a lot of time and potentially a broken heart right something fell yeah definitely feel like someone's gonna try to tempt you tempt you into something tempt you out of something um, or dealing with someone who's trying to make you a third party whether you're for some of you're aware of this and for others you're not um, slow it down get the facts ask for more information test them test the person test the situation if it's something you're not welcoming and you're not interested in put up boundaries be very clear about it i feel like you're going to be dealing with someone who's going to push those boundaries because they don't have boundaries right so just be prepared you might have to take a stand you might have to report someone you might have to tell someone off you know that kind of situation okay pisces so let's see get you an oracle card one sec what else does Pisces need to know when it comes to the day? Daily energy and advice for Pisces. I also feel like someone might be testing you, regardless of which area this applies, but I feel like someone might be testing you, offering you something to see if you take it, to see what you do, and then they're paying very close attention. All right? So the justice is here to tell you, regardless of the situation, just always do the right thing. Always do the right thing, especially at this point in time, because I feel like someone's really keeping an eye on you, okay? Intentionally testing you to see what you do, to see if you keep your word, to see if you are honest, to see if you're reliable, to see if you will compromise your beliefs, to see if you'll compromise your worth, right? The garden and the gate at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like this is what's, something will be tempting you today to step over a line, okay? To cross a line or to smudge out a line, you know? Compromise, something you shouldn't be compromising, right? Be careful, work and fam, uh, work and family, work and friends, work, oh my God, think. For some of you, you work with family, you work with a friend, and that's why the lines are blurred. And you're gonna have to, in that case, create some very strong lines because it's, it's damaging the business side of it, or the business side of it is damaging the personal relationship. So there's, there needs to be some conversations and some boundaries, okay? But work, finances, your personal projects, your business, we have man holding a coin. There's definitely something being offered to you here and it's up to you to decide, is it fair? Is it enough? Okay. Is it what I expect? Is it what I deserve? Um, does it reflect my investment in this, right? For others of you, this is something being kind of dangled in front of you to see if you take it. 
So just be very careful. Make your decisions. Remember, you're creating karma at this time. Harvey and Charlie. When it comes to your friends, your family, your social circles, your home life, we have strategy. That's the chariot energy. So you could be planning, making lists, organizing, reviewing paperwork, documentation. If you're getting offers or bids, again, is it fair? Is it what you want? Is it what you expect? Okay. There could also be negotiations happening when it comes to this um, area of your life to do with home, property, assets, car, sales and purchases. And for those of you, those who work with friends or family, there needs to be a conversation, a strategy put in place in terms of how you're going to keep the two relationships separate because I feel like one is damaging the other. Okay. When it comes to your love life, we have two cards. We have third chakra with Archangel Shamuel, 37, and we have adjacent possibilities. You have options coming in. For some of you, you're definitely attracting someone in. It's all about the fire. It's all about the energy. It's all about the desire, okay? King of Wands, Devil, third chakra. And you're going to have to figure out what you want to do in the situation, what kind of relationship you want. Because I feel like you could be starting a cycle or restarting a cycle if this is someone you already know, right? And they're trying to come back around. And the passion is still there. The chemistry is still there. But nothing else has changed. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have to be very careful with that. Do you really want to restart that cycle where nothing has changed? Yes, the chemistry is still there. But nothing has changed. The fact that the chemistry is still there is not necessarily a good thing. You know what I mean? It's just saying nothing's changed. For others of you, again, this is something new. You might have a few options to look at. Just be careful. Someone could be trying to make you an option. Someone could be trying to make you like a side thing. Um, and again, it's up to you what you want to do with justice. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life by, by any means. But just be aware you're making decisions that create karma at this time that will have consequ consequences, either benefits, rewards, or consequences, okay? All right, so Pisces, that is what I have for us at this time. I hope you find this reading helpful. If you're dealing with these energies, let me know what's going on, okay? Give me some feedback like you always do, and I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just keep me posting what's going on. Just make, the, make healthy choices. <laughs> make healthy choices, do the right thing, um, and you don't have to worry about anything, okay? Especially at this time. But I really hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.